let's talk about hyperbaric oxygen therapy. As always, please discuss with your doctor before you start any treatment or stop any treatment. Essentially what hyperbaric oxygen does is it increases the oxygen levels in our blood. So the pressure means that oxygen gets into the brain, gets it all around the body uh, more easily than normal. But even just having normal pressure oxygen actually enhances the ability to learn. So it's actually, that itself is a promising uh, potential form of rehab and actually a way to increase uh, skill learning in normal people. Even mild hyperbaric oxygen has benefits. This study looked at diabetic mice and said it basically lowers blood sugar. It improves the decline of skeletal muscle oxidation and prevents these spikes of sugars that we see in diabetics. So both fasting and non-fasting glucose improved, the average blood sugar, and even the bad cholesterol triglycerides was lower in the treated group. It's also been shown to enhance the immune system, natural killer cells in healthy people. So patients who want to boost their immune system, they want to increase their parasympathetic activity, seems to be that by increasing oxygen delivery through mild hyperbaric oxygen, we can modulate the immune system in a good way. This study looked at blood pressure, and what it found is people with low blood pressure, so these are people with an issue with too lower blood pressure, you can actually help normalize that. You can actually boost that a little bit back to normal through mild hyperbaric. This study looked at a range of lifestyle diseases and basically they said it can improve metabolic syndrome, uh, high blood pressure, and what it can also do is slow the decline of the certain part of the brain that gets damaged in Parkinson's disease. Now, this was a, an animal study, but wow, I mean, if you can slow the decline in the brain in a patient with Parkinson's disease, that's worth looking at. The undersea and hyperbaric medical society have very specific indications, but this again is hospital-based intense hyperbaric oxygen. A lot of the things we're going to talk about for the rest of this are actually more for you know, less acute problems. So that's where the real interest is in a lot of research. Uh, traditionally, it was used for surgical site infections, so really hard to treat infections. What they found was hyperbaric oxygen actually increased the healing speed, the re-epithelialization, so the, the way the skin healed, the wound healed, was enhanced. It also helped get rid of bugs and work synergistically with antibiotics. But of course, with this sort of problem, with this sort of uh, condition, more studies are needed because one patient is not necessarily the same as another, but it's very promising. What they found, as I said earlier, is it's anti-inflammatory, but at the same time, it decreases tissue damage. So it not only fights infections that are hard to treat, like bone infections or chronic infections in the soft tissue or the heart, but it actually decreases tissue damage and stops the infection expanding. I find it more interesting uh, in terms of how does it work for the brain? So there's a few interesting studies that have been done, including this one, where people who'd had traumatic brain injury of all severities, and then they gave them some hyperbaric therapy and, and checked out what happened. You know, years earlier, they had the trauma and they all improved significantly. This study in a different paper in a different year, same thing. Hyperbaric oxygen induced neuroplasticity. So it changed the brain structure. It led to repair of chronically impaired brain function, improving the quality of life in patients. Another study, this one using SPECT imaging, demonstrated increased brain activity, increased blood flow. It improved quality of life, post-traumatic stress syndrome symptoms, 
psychological distress. It also enhanced the brain microstructure as seen on an MRI scan, a brain scan. So patients who've had trauma in a very real sense, it's a brain injury. And so it's very interesting that now research is looking at using hyperbaric for this sort of indirect benefit. What about chronic pain syndromes, fibromyalgia? Again, hyperbaric exhibits significant anti-inflammatory effects. It reduces the glial cells. These are immune cells. And it actually makes a big difference to chronic pain. It enhances mitochondria, resulting in functional brain changes. It also stimulates nitric oxide, which helps that oversensitive uh, nervous system. It calms down a lot of the worked up uh, nerves in fibromyalgia. This study was done on post-traumatic stress disorder. Again, significant improvements in memory, quality of life, depression. Really quite impressive, considering all we're really doing is giving the brain a breath of fresh air. It changes the blood flow. So this study was done in patients with Alzheimer's disease. And this is, you know, it's a little bit of a clickbait headline for the study, but it was still pretty impressive, right? Amyloid plaques and, and where the blood flows, they looked at it. So you can see at the top there, the colored areas is where the blood flow is. After the hyperbaric oxygen, for quite a few days, the blood flow is different. It's better. And so what they found in this study is it actually reduced amyloid burden. So it reduced the pre-existing plaques. It attenuated or slowed the formation of new damaging brain lesions in patients with Alzheimer's dementia. What they found was that it changed blood vessels in a permanent way. So it, it reduced what effectively was a brain with not enough oxygen. It, it reduced that problem, so the brain improved. Patients with Alzheimer's dementia had significant memory loss when they started. And then afterwards, they had better blood flow and improvement in their cognition. What about strokes? Strokes are absolutely devastating, and there's a lot of medications and great treatments you can have immediately when it happens. Hyperbaric, so far in, in studies, does not seem to help. But in the long term, it really can, in some studies. It seems very, very promising. So in this study, it showed even at the late chronic stages, basically, you know, six to 36 months after the stroke, when rehab's over, you know, the doctors have said, well, just learn to live with it. You know, you can't do much else. We've done our best. Well, hyperbaric actually improved the brain, implying that there's neuroplasticity. So the brain can still change even at that late stage. And they, they said it led to significant neurological improvements. Again, the blood flow is quite impressive. So this was an ischemic stroke 26 months prior to the study. And even with such a lot of time passing, the hyperbaric oxygen actually enhanced the brain's blood flow. And it was all over in all different regions. Another study, very reputable journals, medical journals, again, and significant improvement in all cognitive domains, all ways, you know, we measure brain performance, even in late chronic stages of people who've had a stroke. In this study, they looked at combining folic acid, just as a supplement, and hyperbaric oxygen for patients with cerebral small vessel disease. After treatment, both groups improved their homocysteine, which is a marker of methylation and uh, potentially SAH being, damaged, being high, which can be damaging. However, the group that underwent the hyperbaric improved significantly more. So again, the conclusion was hyperbaric oxygen combined with folic acid can effectively improve cognitive function, quality of life, and reduce homocysteine levels in patients with cerebral small vessel disease. What about healthy older people? 
Can it help everyone? Well, this study seemed to say it can. So this study shows uh, was shown to induce cognitive enhancements in healthy aging. Again, it helped things because of blood flow, right? It helped attention, information processing speed, executive functions. And all of those things are what normally decline with age. So when people say, oh, I just feel like I'm getting old, often what they're talking about is their brain not being as sharp. And this study found that this is a way to actually enhance all those areas that often decline as we get older. Hyperbaric oxygen was found in this study to actually enhance telomere length. So telomeres are like a ticking time bomb or an old-fashioned cartoon fuse on a bomb. You know, the fuse goes all the way down, 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 and then bang, the cell explodes. If you want to live a long, healthy life, you need telomeres that don't get too short, too fast. So this study actually showed you can increase telomere length, which is pretty remarkable. But it also helped clear senescent cells. Senescent cells are like zombie cells, and there's a lot of research in the longevity space about how do we clear out these junk cells because they can actually cause harm uh, to normal, normal cells. So, uh, again, hyperbaric oxygen therapy for aging is a really interesting thing that more research is being done into, and it's definitely worth looking at and considering. What about prediabetics? Well, certainly in an animal model, it can make a big difference. Hyperbaric therapy reduced metabolic impairments. It fixed mitochondrial problems. It increased autophagy, which is like clearing out the junk from the cell. And it resulted in improvement in both heart function and um, the diabetes uh, general metabolic state of these pre-diabetic mice. It's also shown promise in some skin conditions like severe eczema. In all children in the study, it reduced the extent of the eczema, how red it was, how much swelling and crusting there was. It reduced the itchiness, that's puritis, and it improved sleep quality after the therapy. There's also a few papers saying that it can have a big improvement, it can, have, it can help improve psoriasis. Now, they're small studies, but it seems like a very interesting approach for someone who's really struggled with everything else. And it's clear that the hyperbaric is an anti-inflammatory, immunosuppressive, beneficial treatment for many conditions. What about COVID? COVID, obviously, very topical. A lot of problems still happening because of it. In this paper, they found significant improvements in energy, mental symptoms, brain perfusion and microstructure on brain scans. So hyperbaric again was found to induce brain plasticity, neuroplasticity, improving cognition, psychiatric fatigue, sleep and pain symptoms for people suffering after COVID. Another study found it improves the disruptions in white matter tracts and alters the functional connectivity of different pathways in the brain. So COVID does all sorts of bad things to our brain and hyperbaric can actually improve a lot of those problems. Patients with heart issues post COVID. In this paper, it actually hyperbaric oxygen improved left ventricular function. So essentially it enhanced the heart's recovery. And finally, this study was from the European Journal of Clinical Microbiology and Infectious Diseases. And what they found is patients who had developed attention deficit disorder, slow reaction times, uh, issues like that from mold exposure were actually significantly better after some hyperbaric oxygen. Now, it's just a preliminary study, but it's a very interesting finding that you can seemingly do quite a lot to improve patients who otherwise would have no other options.